Okay. Good evening and welcome to Ryan's Family Amusements in Millis, Massachusetts. This is Dan Castle and with John Ahern. And tonight is the first match of our bowlers in the B Division. Mike Capone is the home bowler and A.J. Stockton is the visiting bowler. So uh, with that, if the bowlers shake hands and uh, next call is live. Okay, just doing an audio check here. So, trying to figure out where everybody's going. I'll be handling play-by-play -play and uh, John Ahern here. Uh, both of us are ACST bowlers, if you, do not, if you don't know us. Yeah, I know. What can you tell me? Good. Loud and clear on audio, so we're good to go. Uh, we'll be starting the bowling momentarily. Um, Mike uh, bowls here in Millis, and uh, AJ's visiting. John will fill us in more on that as we go along. So, the format today, it's a five-string match. The bowlers will bowl five boxes at a time, then alternating. AJ's going to be starting out on lane one, the challenging lane one in Millis with the overhanging beams. We have a lot of league bowlers in here tonight. And the first ball, uh, AJ is on the head pin and drop seven, leaves the two, four, seven with some wood. So, going for the spare, and uh, good evening, John. And it's a beautiful spare off the wall. So that was a good ball on, on the uh, six mil. Yeah, uh, AJ put it on a three pin and took out six. So 16 after one. Five fell. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't see the one pin back there. Thanks for calling that. It was a ball as well. It's team effort here, gang. Oh, great ball. Still leaves the four seven. So we have some wood coming out of there. He's on the mixed teams championship with Harry's All Stars. He has a 181 high single, 414 triple, and a 672 high five. And that's a nine box, so 24 after two. Uh, clearing some wood there that went ended up in the channel. He also pulls out a tempo and goes to Timber Lanes. Besides Millis here. Be part of the once a month league coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, some of the bowlers that AJ looks up to uh, Janet Pooch, Dan Spestel, and Greg Homer. And that, that's a great list of bowlers to uh, look up to. Fun already. Uh, also, a fun yeah, fact back it's karma. he is the reigning yeah. queen of the palace when he identified as, identified as a female. New Palace Lanes is now closed. Not sure how we use that on the broadcast, but I used it. <laughs> so we're having some lane technical difficulties here. No balls have returned. So um, Ashley Breton, one of the other up and coming young bowlers in the ACST, is going down to take care of that. Okay. Mike Capone will be coming up. Still says that. Oh, never mind. Mike Capone will be bowling next after AJ, and Mike has a high single 178, a 438 triple, 701 high five. Accomplishments recently in the Outrun the Bear scratch, he averaged 127.75. Uh, went went through eight strings, placed 15. I'm also on the, this is John Ahern, I'm going to be on the once a month with Mike and Duncan McDougal, uh, Alicia Record, and Rock, The Rock. Uh, if you go back to your Wayback Machine, 
Uh, he was on the Coca-Cola teams, and he won it one year and came in sick in another. He's, he also has an, an accomplishment of uh, placing second in the men's Class B doubles mass state tournament, bowling tournament. He bowls here out of Millis, and as soon as we get the lanes up and running, uh, we'll be back here at Dan. So, um, Mike, this last year, uh, made the playoffs in the ACST B division, uh, which was definitely a contender, and uh, had put up a good season. Looking forward to another good season. He's averaging about um, 110 right now. AJ's averaging about 106. Mike, what's your current average? What's your current average? 110. I finished the sum by 112. So we should be getting some balls coming oh, yeah. back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, so some challenges. Be down to one lane. Well, if you have to lose a lane, losing one doesn't losing hurt anyone. Losing one's not a bad thing. I, I, if you're going to lose a lane, losing one is not a bad way to go. So, so, so one's a real challenge to bowl on if you haven't bowled here in Millis before. Um, John dropped his phone here. So... So uh, if, if you haven't bowled in Millis, um, or if you have bowled in a tournament, you'll notice that in a lot of tournaments we don't use lane one uh, because a lot of bowlers find it very challenging. As you can see, uh, Steve Reno running down now uh, to work on a lane problem. Um, one has uh, the beams over the lane to some degree. And if, you, if you're if you a right-handed bowler like I am, when you bowl down there, there's a tendency to want to reach out and grab those to support yourself, which is a foul, of course, if you touch that. So um, they just get in your field of vision, and it takes a little bit of work to that get true? to you get that done. What's that? You touch the ball, it's a foul. Yeah, it is a foul. Yeah. Same if you touch Good the ball. Yeah. yeah. And so um, you can do it. And there's a couple of bowlers that prefer lane one. So there was. Uh, I don't think he's bowling in the league this year. Um, but um, one bowler I bowled against here, he, he puts everybody on one because he knows it gets in everybody's head. So a lot of tournaments, if possible, they'll not use one. But if you get it, you get it, you know. And so tonight, the ball everywhere. so tonight it'll be a good challenge for the bowlers to deal with a, you know, less than ideal lane. But um, they both have it, so it's an equalizer. And um, Steve Reno has gone down his work on a ball return. Sorry for the delay. And, uh, it's a little update from uh, today. There was a match just recently. Myself, John Ahern, and Matt Taylor. Um, we both uh, did a good job of stinking up the lanes a little bit. But Matt stunk them up less and took a nice 10-4 win. Bowl the main today. He bowled a 492 to my 479. All right, we have balls returning, so we'll get back to the action here. Thank you, Steve. Yep, all four of us in our group. There you go. We just gotta get Steve to show up once in a while. The fusion just goes way up. That's what it is. He's the draw. So as you can see, we don't have um, a scoreboard up on the screen today. Um, uh, that's uh, because we're working with uh, one of the producers. So we'll be giving scores every box, and uh, you can see the scoreboard in your camera view. AJ comes off on a four pin, and he drops five, and has a nice cluster. John, you hit a good cluster of five twice in your match today. It was big. Just off, but getting some late action. And almost fell, but the three pin stayed up. And going for the 10 box. And gets it, no problem. Beautiful. Uh, AJ throws about a 27 mile an hour ball. Uh, plenty of action on that. Most importantly, he's accurate. 34 after 3. It's challenging to come back from uh, physical issues. On the head pin. Beautiful ball. Everything but the 4 pin. Nice wood in front of the 4 pin. Good opportunity for another spare here. No problem, right on it. 
Uh, 34 in a ball after four. 44 in a ball after four. Yep. I'll catch up. My brain will catch up with my mouth we'll at some there, point. Yeah. You know. Just two old guys radio. Cut us some slack. We're doing the best we can with what we have. Way better than Paul Grant. <laughs> I'm not going that. I am. I'm, how many... Uh, how right. many lemon drops did I have today? Yeah, you owe them like three bucks, I three think. Bucks, yeah. Okay. I'll, have to, I'll, have to, I'll have to play it back and look. So, um, nine in the fill for 53 after good. four. Good. And a good spare leaf here and goes wide to the left. So, open in the fifth box. And there's a 10 box for 63. You know, uh, one thing with using lane one, it can be difficult. AJ, like myself, is left-handed, and, and sometimes the, the wall is just a visual there when you're bowling. Oh, yeah. And I, I have to actually change my approach. It didn't seem to slow him down, though. The nice 63 hat. If you haven't tried it on lane one, it, it's it's hard to believe, but that, that does get into your field of view, and um, it, you, you got to learn to ignore it, but it takes a while to do it. I've thrown a couple good games on there, but I hate that lane. Me also. Just a off, off a little bit to the left. Oh, it was Eric Seeger that, that preferred lane one. Next uh, flash is six. Maybe the one, three, six, four. Makeable spare. Got to cut something over. Uh, goes through the hole. Mike will be open in the first, and he's up against a spare five that AJ had in the first. And twice through the bunny hole, so six box for Mike. Disappointing, but a lot of bowling to go. Well, Dan, it, every great string starts with a six box. Is what someone told me before. I Only heard. because I started with a lot of sixes. Oh, I, 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 I don't like to do that, but I've been there, done that many a time. So, well, there's six more. Uh, four six horsemen, right? Kamrowski special. And Millis. Home of the Cam Rusky special. <laughs> He's in there. Oh, I thought he was in there, but it doesn't go. He leaves a head bend. A little bit right in the head bend there. Uh, Mike throws the ball right around 27 miles per hour also. He varies. Um, bowling with Mike. Uh, he's, he's let me know a couple times. It's not about the speed. It's the accuracy. He used to throw it a lot harder, and now he focuses more on accuracy. Uh, he stole that line from me, I think, because I my line is accuracy is more important than velocity. Uh, a yeah. 50 mile an hour gutter ball is of no use. Not at all. All right, box three, and Mike is on the head pin. Nice hit. Takes oh, out nine, breaks up the split. He's got just the seven pin and a couple of ugly pieces. Well, if he caps the left one, that goes. Anything else is a big question. Okay. Yeah, you can see the comments right here. Yep. And Mike picks up a spare in a second, matching AJ's first, or third, I'm sorry, third box. Let me catch up here. And that gives him 25 plus a ball. So he wants a big a nine fill, ties it up. In the pocket, takes out eight. That was one of his best balls yet. 33, it's a one pin game after three boxes, 34 to 33. And uh, he's got just two to shoot at, the four and the seven. There it goes, matching spares. So Mike's at 43 and a ball. Mike had a slight slow stop, but looks like he's picking up some rhythm now. Two in a row. But he's still got his hands full. Well, he needs a strike to catch her. Catch him. Yep. Oh, six in the fill. Another six fill again. That gives Mike a 49, so he is four pins and completed boxes under AJ. Going for a spare on the check mark. Yeah, makeable spare. He didn't like it as soon as it left his hand there. No, no, now he's going to try to look it up and 
Look to clean up these two. Keep it close. Keep it to single day. All right, nine box. Nice nine box. So after halfway through the first string, AJ is at 63 and Mike at 58. So it is a five pin match right now. Anybody's game right now. So AJ Stockton's coming up on lane two and. To remind everybody the way that the format works here in the ACST is each bowler will bowl five boxes in one lane. His or her opponent comes up on the other on the same lane, then they switch. And we'll do that for five games. Two points is awarded for the winner of each game and four points for the winner of total. Total 14. And right off beautiful spare on three eight. What's AJ at 73 plus a ball? 73 plus a I wrote that down. Okay, coming in on a fill ball in box seven, and AJ is on the head pin. Takes out seven. We'll get it on the next break. There's a little bit of a split to play with here. A four, seven, and nine. Uh, no choice but the wood on the left. And AJ tries for the nine pin. I think he was going to go for taking something off the wall. Yeah, it looked that way, but just sliced it a little bit thin. Looking to clean up some pins here. I went and chopped on the seven for an eight box. Went for two, got one. 88 after seven. 88 after seven. Now we're coming into the foundation box, box eight. And AJ is right now throwing around 27 miles an hour. Off on the six pin, just takes four. But they are all together, the cluster, cluster in the middle. One, two, four, five, eight, nine, it looks like. What a, what a valiant effort that was. Right on the head pin. Everything but the four and the nine is, is gone. Just a little bit outside there. Eight box for 96 after eight. AJ's going to look to pick up at least one mark here to keep the pressure on Mike. Keep that lead going. All right, coming into box nine, first of all. On the two pin, half Worcester left. I had my share of those today, Dan. Yeah, I could lost count. You had a bunch. I was lucky today in my match. I didn't have any, I don't think. We'll see how AJ plays it, then I'll tell you about my uh, full Worcester shot. Oh, playing for the inside. That's When that goes, that's, that's great, but you have the risk of putting it through the hole. That's what happened here. Yep. Looks like he's going to look to grab a bunch here. That's a five box. Five box yeah. And that, that happens more often than not. Once you, once you get that half blister and then you try, you try to shave it to get all the pins to make the shot, and you, and you hit the hole, bunny hole, more often than not, I know I have to, maybe you have too, that you end up going too far wide yeah. and you try to play it too safe. Well, that that happened to you earlier today because you punched out on both sides, I saw. But then... I got a nine box out. Well, that was beautiful because you you had both holes out, and uh, you, 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 you ended up uh, getting everything but the five pin. So that that was the one six or one four six seven ten. And if that five pin hadn't been there, that'd have been a beautiful shot. It was a beautiful shot. 
Oh, through the hole again. Alright. Davies in the lot. Look to work it out here. Grab a bunch. At least a seven, ideally. Now he's in a position of having to try to kick some over. Make sure that you have at least three. Alright, a disappointing six box. So AJ finishes box game one with a 107. Do we have one of the score sheets over here? Punch outs can really hurt you sometimes. It makes it really tough to, to clean up the marks. You want to take a turn on this with your hand? Sure. It's a little loose. I got it. I've got to tighten that all up. Okay, Mike coming up in the second half. He's down 63 to 58 after the first half. AJ finished up with a 107. Well, Mark, he just needs to have all 10 boxes. He doesn't have to mark, but probably will well, not if he doesn't. Well, not, not a great start. He cherry picked the seven pin there. But like I tell Mike when I'm bowling with him, it's a spare leaf. What do you think, Dan? Yeah, I do too. You just got to throw a strike. Um, he right on the pocket. Wasn't too far from doing that that time. So yeah. And he's going to lose some pins here because AJ had a spare seven in the six. Correct. Still plenty of room though. So oh, seven box. Six. Seven box, 65. So um, through six completed boxes, AJ is at 80, Mike at 65. So now those couple of punch outs are going to play big here because right, that's, that's what gives Mike an opportunity to not have any huge boxes here. Because yeah. you've got a five and a six. And right on the pocket oh, there. And he drops the hammer. Our first strike. First strike of the match. But that was timely for Mike because um, right now uh, that gives him uh, 75 and 2 through 7 boxes. The big fill here will, will go a long way. Right, Just yeah. off a little bit to the right. On the 3 pin that time, he's left Leaves the post. Yep, 4 horsemen plus a 7. It's, it's relatively makeable if he gets in the pocket. Right there, and he makes it. He makes it a beautiful shot, picking up the post for a spare. Spare on strike for 85 after in completed boxes. 80, yeah, 85 through seven. Through seven completed to AJ's 88. But uh, one pin in the field to tie to bring it to a tie, and two he puts him ahead. Well, that's more than two. So. That was, uh, I thought that was going to be a half horse on the left there, but it, with his ball action, he got a little bit more, and he put a little more behind that. That, yeah. that had a 20, 20 and a half miles an hour. So that gives him 108, so he's ahead by four. Look at this. Beautiful pitch. Wow, I thought that was going to go. So yeah. Except he misses a mark. But the nine pin just said, said no way. But there's a piece of wood settling in front of the nine pin right now. He'll look to pick that up for his 10 box to, to put him at 110. And right on the money, 110. I thought that was interesting. He went directly for the pin. He didn't try to, you know, he knew he was going to hit the wood, but he went straight for the pin instead of going in the angle uh, or going to the middle of the wood. And uh, it worked well. He gets the 10 box out of that 110. He's won the game. So he's won the first game. He's up three pins. Three points in this box. Well, I'm not happy with that shot, but he drops four on his first ball. He came in on a three pin, and he's got a reasonable spare lead here, but the only problem with these clusters is you can hit it and still have one random pin stay up. So I think he's got you know, a good shot of making it, but now if he left the one, the head pin and the nine. A lot of playable wood there to clean up for his ten. Head pin hit ought to take it. And right on the money right for there. that ten box to finish with the 120. So at the end of the first string, Mike Capone 120, AJ Stockton 107. So it's a 13 pin lead for total after the first string of five.
So Mike came from behind in that one and, and, and uh, did what Mike does. I, I bowled with him against him a lot of times. He's, he's relentless and he took advantage of those bad boxes that, that AJ had. Those were, those were huge for him. And uh, both 10 boxes, but 10s against a 5 and a 6. But, you know, right there he's picked up um, 9 pins on total. Okay, AJ is going to just come up to start the second string on lane one. Didn't seem to bother him too much uh, being a lefty on lane one. It, it is an adjustment as a lefty and a bowler to, to bowl on lane one, yeah. but it can be done. It's all a matter of getting that out of your head, just pretending it's not there. And for AJ, it's especially challenging because he takes kind of a lean to the left as part of the approach. Yeah, that, that's and, true. And if you watch, he's not too far from Wacken's head on that beam. I hope he doesn't. But, but that'll be in your head, too. When, when, I, when I bowl this lane, I actually lower my stance. Oh, beautiful oh, bit. Great, great bit. Leaves just the seven pin, but the pins were flying. Great shot. AJ looking to pick up this seven pin. Right on it, hit it right in the face. All right, we're coming into box two now. In game pins two. are already pins are already wiggling now. Yeah. They're shivering. They're in fear. Good reason to be with these two bowlers. Oh, look at that! Beautiful shot. Six and ten. Six ten left with a little bit of wood surrounding it. I think that generally works, but it's at a little bit of an angle. It might not take the ten. I try, I'm trying to go over the ball and yeah. go around it. Oh. And he picks it up anyway. He just plows it right through. That ten a great, was great a little bit reluctant, but it did go. So it's fair in a second. That's why I would have got, tried to go a little bit left, but that's why I'm a class D bowler. <laughs> He's doing really well, especially coming back from injuries here. AJ is coming over not just any any injury, a hernia and disc, yeah. disc, which is very painful if you've had it. I've had I have three of them. I wow. am very, I'm familiar. Yeah, it sucks. When it's not acting up, it's fine. But when it goes, it's a beautiful pickup for back-to-back -back spares. Spare after spare. I was fortunate not having to have it operated on. I had some cortisone injections in the spine some years ago. And since then, it's been pretty good. I haven't had too many major issues. But it can go like that. Um, you can be fine. And I know one time I went to pick up a ball from a ball return, and it went. I could, I could hardly walk. So um, AJ's aware of this and, and knows it. You know, a little bit of a splash. They're still following it, and they're still going down. Need, need a score adjustment. Mike, That's a, Mike you change the score? So before the match, AJ expressed to me, you know, some concern that feeling good now, and hopefully it lasts that long, it doesn't just go. And, and I hope so, too. Right, one, eight, ten. Just off to the left, just to hit. AJ's throwing a great ball. Tonight. He's at 44 after three. He's doing well in lane one. That's 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 the spot for AJ right now. Oh, and an eight box for a little too soon. That's okay. 52 after 52 four. Of, oh, it's a great start. AJ will be looking to sit on one here. Get in the 60s the or 70s. That's a decent half. But the way the uh, ACST average is going, Dan. I think uh, D division, you're gonna you're gonna have to bowl a 100 or 101 to stay in there because I think there'll be a new E division next year. Oh, well, that, that's true. I started in the B division when there was only two divisions. Yep. And at that point, the break was basically the pro bowlers were 110 and up, and the semi pros were 100 to 110. And then it started pushing, and you know. Um, 
added a lot more people too because now we have what about 130 bowlers or something like that. 32, I think. Yeah. And when well, four years ago, it was um, maybe 30. So sometimes, sometimes the comments and the viewers are small in the live stream, but we pick up a lot on the uh, recording. So. AJ goes wide to the left, will be open in box five, is open in box five, has a 60 half. So he eight. Great stats, AJ, in the first and second. Just I needs to, it was 62 yeah. the first half. Yeah, and just needs to close it out in the uh, 63 to 58. So just needs to close it out in the uh, right hand side. It's always funny in this game to find that you're doing way better on one side than the other, but that we're only one game in, we'll see how consistent that is. All right, so Mike Capone coming up on lane one, right-handed bowler, very powerful, Rel relatively recently started bowling again, and he's on the three pin, but he's getting some great action here, drop six, one, two, eight, nine is the remainder, some wood in the back that may help. That's a strange lead. And a mark in the first for Mike Capone. Is that playing in Facebook? You hit the play button. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're just checking the Facebook feed here. You guys are quiet. And so Mike comes in on a two pin and drops seven for the fill, so 17 to start. Early seven pin lead in the game after the first box. Nice ball. Um, does not pick up the seven. He's definitely in the, in the object pin and in the place he wants to be. But it just didn't go for him. So AJ had a spare seven in the second box. And uh, Mike has a nine box. So after two, Mike's at 26. Eight or 25? No, 26. It's 26 because the scoreboard says 25, but it missed a pin. So it's a one pin game in completed boxes so far. All right. Got a score correction there. And Mike's coming up on lane one again for box three. Right in the right hand pocket. A little bit of a light hit, but gets some late action to take out 90 seconds, just a 10 pin. Woods a little bit away from that 10 pin. It's a danger, it could deflect the ball. And it did, that's what I was afraid was gonna happen there with that wood. So he'll be open in box three. AJ had a spare in box three, a spare seven. And right in the face for a 10 box, 36 after three. AJ's at 44 after three. A wood gives and takes away both. You never know what'll happen. Yeah, we're just checking the audio. There's a lot of background noise here because we have a full house here. Yeah. All right, Mike coming in on box four and he puts it the in triangle. the pocket. Here's the first triangle there. Okay. Four, seven, eight. Piece of wood off to the right, but I'm not sure if that's going to be playable. What do you think, Dan? Uh, I think you got to go to the left side, but he's going for the wood, and that's what I was afraid is going to happen. Yeah. It's easy to commentate on it. Much harder to make it. There we go, 10 box for 46 after four. So after four, it is 52 for aging completed boxes to Mike's 46. Alright, box five. In the box. Oh, what a There's hammer! Strike. Good time for that. Mike Thumper Capone. drops another one. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's wondering what, what I mean by that, that's my nickname for, for Mike Capone after bowling with him a couple of seasons. I call him Thumper. Because right there, he, he just thumped that one for a strike. 
All right, so at the halfway point of game two, A.J. Stockton's at 60. Mike Capone's at 56, plus a two-ball fill remaining to be thrown. It's going to be another great close match. Here in second two. So that's okay for the moment, but it's heading south, so at some point I'm going to run up and get something. I work it out. Because I'm diabetic. Oh, it's not mine. Okay, so I'm okay right now, but I don't like this round. What? I'm good. I'm not good. No rush. I'm good now. All right. Back to the action. Beautiful oh, ball. Wow, what a spare. 3-2 split for a spare. Is that the, is that the uh, six pins? Yeah, it was six, but that was with authority. There's no doubt about that one. AJ's been throwing a great ball all night. But that's, that's one way to match Mike's strike in the fifth. I've never bowled against AJ, but I've seen him in a lot of tournaments and that, that, you know, I'll run the bear and some others. And a uh, formidable competitor. That one got away, but uh, we're here in Millis. Still picked up seven, though. Thank you, Millis. Yeah. AJ thanking, the, thanking Millis for the pins. Well, I think now he's going to look to try to make this one for back-to-back -back spares. Had pretty good action on that. From the ball. One, two, five. Somehow, oh, wow. Millis gave and Millis took away on that one because that was a beautiful ball, right, right where we needed to put it. All right, ten box, eighty-seven after seven. A lot of ACST matches uh, this week, and, and there will be every week now with this many bowlers going. We're going to see a lot of matches, a lot of good bowling. You can just ask my wife. It's like, you're going to stop bowling. So much. Oh, wow. wow. Another beautiful pocket hit. Left hand pocket. Is that? Triangle. the right triangle. Triangle right. Six, nine, ten. Make will spare. Triangles can be tough sometimes. You can. Nothing worse than putting one break through the middle. Okay, just clips the 9 pin. Be open in the 8 box. Look for a 10 now. 6 10. Okay, you have to hit the, the, the object. And there's a nicely done 10 box. So AJ's at 97 after 8 boxes. Yeah, as you expect with the last people, is, uh, they're both pinning very well. It's just like, who's going who's gonna to get the more breaks? And who's going to throw? More marks and fill them because it's it's been back and forth all night right now. Well, and avoid, avoiding the mistakes because those last two boxes at AJ were not the difference in the game, but they're pretty close to the difference. Because that was if they had ten boxes, that was uh, nine about nine pins. Oh, and he's right along, just off the left, but gets a nice little splash. I don't hit it. That ought to go if he hits the one, two, eight. Yeah, it gets right to the right of the head pin. That's oh, how you do that. Not a beautiful pickup. Perfect. Yeah, that's, pick that's that's a second uh, great pickup. Uh, not, a, not an easy shot by any means. No, he, 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 even, even with the wood, it's really easy to go too full on a head pin and just take out the wood and uh, and leave the, the three. So that puts AJ at 107 plus a ball at the ninth. He's looking to make up the last. Keep the pressure on, Mike. Ouch. Oh. The dreaded bird, the spread eagle. Another, another great ball, but doesn't get rewarded there. Four and a fill gives AJ 111 after nine. AJ's going to go to work here. Four percent chance of making this spare, if I remember my stats from Bob right. One percent. Mike corrects me. He's been listening to Bob more than I have. Not my choice. That was a great ball. Uh, left side goes down. Puts a plank right in front of the so three on the right. All right, that's 10 a box. professional ten. So 
It's one of the hottest things coming back after after uh, spread eagle. Oh yeah. Kind of kind of deflates the game sometimes, but coming back with the ten is an excellent way to finish it. So that puts a little pressure on Mike. A 121 string. Mike's at 56 and a two ball Phillies on his strike. And he's gonna have to throw some marks here. Yeah, AJ finished that finished that second half much better than the first half for the first string. Looking to pick up pick up a few pins there. All right, Mike Capone, first ball is a fill. Took a little bit of a stutter step on that one, but that's okay. Picks up seven to start. And he's left with a one, eight, ten, and lots of wood. Looking for a ten fill here. And he gets it. Spare what a beautiful on. spare. That was beautiful. Yeah, that's why these two jets are in the uh, B division and we're in the D, Dan. Hey, I used to be make in the those B. Tough, they make <laughs> those tough shots more often than not. We'll not a great, we, we've got a great match going here. It's going to be, it's going to come right down to that fifth string. I, I can feel it. Yeah. We'll be back, don't worry. And it's up. So, we've, Mike put seven in the fill and that puts him at 83 after six. Is the castle down there, Dan? That is the castle right. That's correct. Otherwise, that was the shot that never goes. Well, there is some wood to the left. I, I've told this a lot of times. So the reason that that's frustrating, obviously, is you only get that lead, the five with the two on the right, in the as a result of throwing a good ball in the pocket. And and that's why it's so aggravating. It's, you threw a great ball, you should have a decent lead. Well, you get that, and there's usually a piece of wood or two, as there was here, but it's not typically in position. So. Nine box Mike for Mike. Seven, so through seven completed boxes. AJ at 87, Mike at 92. And he's got his hands full in the rest of the string. So somebody made a joke one time. You get that a lot. We should name it after you. And Bob Lee says it looks like a castle in chess. And um, so far it's been happening some. Beautiful head been hit there. And I figure I'll never make any Hall of Fame or anything great, but I may no, have some legacy. There's some hope. There's a 3 5 Not pick up much. for a spare. He's got the 3 5 10, or 3 5 9, and the 9 stays. Open the 9 there. Good bit on that, though. Yeah, the, the ball. Tough, tough play. Wow. Oh, and a 9 box. I don't think he could have put a piece of paper between the ball and the pin that time. No. So after eight complete, it's Mike 101, AJ 97. Mike up against a spare in the ninth from AJ. Mike needs a spare to win this game. He's got 11 pins right now. A, a pair of ten, a pair of tens will end up in our tie. Oh, good splash ball. Thank you, Phyllis. So a 1-3 for the leaf. And there's the spare he needs. So that puts Mike at 111 plus a ball. So he needs 10 more pins total to tie. So. Got a good opportunity here. All right, well, he gets a little break there. So, four fill puts Mike at 115 after nine. And with that four, he's at 119. So, three more pins and he wins his strength, regardless of whether it's marked. And it'll be open, but that's seven in that box, so that puts Mike at 122. He's now officially won this ring. Another, another close ring in, Dan. Oh, very. Uh, nine box, then Mike's at 124 at, uh, in the second string, so he'll take the points on this one, too, uh, by only three pins. So after two strings, AJ Stockton is at 2.28, and Mike Capone is at 2.44. I just had a printed 
So Mike has a 16 pin lead in total at this early stage of the match. I asked him that before my match and he said either way is fine. Okay. I go, what do you prefer? Either way. Because I forget to take the pictures. Nice straight, Mike. Lucked out that one. So Mike's, Mike's put on a good show here with uh, two games in the uh, 120s. Uh, actually, three. Yeah, so I, I read the totals already. Mike's up by 16. Oh, never a good time. Yeah, uh, what's the left? Yeah, but it's pretty when you get the spare. I'll let you know when I get one. It can be done. Oh, through the hole. Exactly what you don't want to do. So AJ will try to pick up some pins on this and go on to the next box. Usually when I, when I do that, and I do that often, I try to split the one three. Yeah. Instead of trying to go the outside. If you can go through the hole and clip the one pin, it's much more satisfying spare. All right, so as you said before, that does happen when you put it through the hole. So five bucks to start. It's more of a mental thing when you, when you put one through the hole. It takes you out of your game. This is a head game. There's no doubt about that. Um, you've got to keep your head in the game. And I just when your head's foggy like mine, Dan, that's not that's easy to do. Hey, I'm good at most stuff as long as it's not remembering people's names, even people that I know, like my kids. I know what you mean, Jim. Yeah. Somebody called me out the other day, and I apologize to the bowlers, but I kept flipping Sean Taylor and, and uh, Justin Waters during the match. And I caught myself, but... Oh, there's another one, Paul. Right. So, AJ got a bit of a break on that. Yeah, came, Cluster of six. Came in on a six, and his left was six. Beautiful and it's what a spare. A That's the way to come back to the five boxes. Get that spare. That's worth a while. That, that is definitely a wow. I'm sure AJ's gonna look to fill us up to pick up some of those pins from that five box first. Um, like most, most good bowlers do, they have a bad back, bad box, and they come right back with a great box and throw them out. I gotta learn that trick. Well, the whole philosophy that I think I've learned the bowling really exemplifies is it doesn't really matter what the last ball that you threw is, so you can't dwell on it. Beautiful ball. Beautiful seven fill, tough lead. It's tough lead, but seven fill is nice. Makeable here because I think that that spot right between the wood and the pin. AJ. Yeah, this He's checking on it. So the thing is, is, is you can't uh, we'll in the seven. you can't dwell on the last pin you threw. You can only focus on the next pin, the ball you throw, not pin. Oh. And if you, if you get that down, and the good bowlers do, great effort. Oh, That's great pin! Just slightly to the left of where I thought he needed to throw that. Picks up an eight box uh, to give AJ. Oh, one more ball. Yeah. yeah ahead of myself. That's all right. Twenty-two after two. And I didn't jinx it. No, eight bucks. You know, and that's so frustrating because it's so easy to make that leave when you have a whole rack up to punch out the two, as we've seen a few times already. But when those are the only pins sitting up there, damn, that's hard to make. <laughs> Figure that out. Figure that out. Box four. Right in the pocket. Just a little off the left, but gets a nice seven drop. And a make, make him a spale here. No, no punch out that time. One, three, six is the remainder. Three in a row. Oh, come on. Great pin. Little light on the head pin. Got a, got a few bowls like you recognize. Welcome to Scott Douglas, hope you get better soon. Glenn Gill's watching. Dave Peterson. 
Yeah, man, and I know Brittany was watching, but she's also working here, too. Ashley. Ashley, yeah. And that's a 10 box for a 40. Ashley came into the season partway through to replace somebody and did, did pretty well. Took, uh, came in with a, a record that wasn't that great from the other bowler and uh, moved up some. And now she's got the full season. Uh, uh, check. Yeah, it, that's makeable. You can really either side of the object pin should take that. I prefer the full horse. Yeah. No. Mike hates the four horsemen. Uh, just stop. Welcome, Steve Reno. Hey, Steve. Nice seeing you. Good match going on. You had a great match here, Steve. Two great bulls here in the B division. And a nine box for AJ for 49 at the halfway point. AJ Stockton was part of our 2018 World Championship team for the Big Steam event. Yes, I did mention that earlier. Course, AJ Stockton and Dean Award, uh, John Wincho, uh, Jonathan Boudreau, and um, Brandon Marks. They were amazing that year. More to come, Steve. There'll be more to come. Yeah, a couple of great bowlers here today. Yep. Mike uh, dropped seven on his first ball. In the two, two four seven, and he knew either that one got away from him. Picked it, cherry picked the seven. He's gonna look to pick up his ten box here. Thank you. It's always a pleasure, Steve Reno, to come in and uh, give his commentary. Uh, I lean on lean on him a lot as a bowler. He's oh, helped yeah. me with my game. As when I'm practicing here, he's always first to come over and let me know. You know what he sees and how I can improve, and, and it's helped me a lot. Yeah, he, he's been coaching me a lot too, and he spent quite a bit of time with me this last Friday night. And then I had a bowl against him on Wednesday. He was on his game. His whole team was. Well, we had our hands full too. We, we were up against just just a small team: the Shoe, Dead Klein, and Justin Waters. Oh boy! Thankfully, they were giving us 52 pins because we needed every one of them. Well, that's interesting. He had his 7-10 split. He picks up, bounces the ball off the wood, uh, picks up the 7-pin off from the top, almost carried over to the 10. And a 10 box for Mike McCollum for 19 after 2. So after 2 completed in the 3rd string, AJ is sitting at 22 and Mike at 19. Got some dead wood being cleared. You know, I've been bowling here now since 2011, and I've known to hit DW to, to disable the pin, uh, the uh, scoring. I never knew it stood for dead wood. Now it makes perfect sense. Oh, Mike drops nine, leaves everything but the head pin. All right, score correction on the uh, automatic scoring, yeah, they, they read that as a pin, so it's showing him as a blind guy. I miss the paper and pencil days. Oh, that was a head pin. Head pin, I'm That sorry. was a head pin, yeah. The one being the head pin and the five being the king pin. The, the, the king but it's pin, gone now. The one and the five, it is gone. But either one of those pins, uh, earlier today, I had a hard time hitting both of them. I could get them on the third ball. And I couldn't. So a spare in the third puts Mike McCone at 29 plus this ball, which is five. That gives him 34. He takes a lead in lead in boxes, 34 to 30. Got the pack of fives to the left there. Seen a lot of these clusters today. Two, four, seven, eight, five. Oh, that one got away. All right, 
I'd like to have that ball again. Well, both bowlers are slowed down in this half a little bit from where they were blazing earlier. Oh, ouch. Uh, tough seven bucks. Uncharacteristic, so this is all free. At four complete right now in the third string, Michael Bowen sitting at 41 and AJ sitting at 40. Up against an eight box. Ball tailed off a little there. It looked like it was heading to the head pin, but took a right turn and ended up on a three and dropped five. Four horsemen plus the eight. Oh, he's right in there on that one. Right, right, right. He's hitting his options, but he's just, just missing slightly. Leaving the four seven with the plank of wood in front of it. And cleans is up as expected for 51 half. So after after halfway through the match in the third string, after halfway through it's 51 for Mike and AJ at 49. For them, they think that's a bad half. Me and you deal with say, eh, it's, I can work with that. Well, I prefer to be in a high 50s to low 60s if I'm having a decent game. A couple weeks ago, I had three halves in the 70s in one match so I was happy with that. The key is that you finished them. Yes, all in 120s though. Nice. Done. So all 50s in the second half. There's, a, there's another lemon drop. Lemon drop right. Paul Grant will be knocking on the door. Right in the park, that was a beautiful ball. Not the ball that he expected, but well, that's not blocking. Keeping your head in the game, just, uh, you know, I wish my body and my eyes could work together if it was better than they do, but at least you can see what you want. Wow, nice out. Beautiful tag. So AJ didn't let that first ball get to him. He just followed through. And as I've said a lot of times, if you can't get a strike, get a spare. If you can't get a spare, get the yeah. 10. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. AJ's only left uh, two pins standing through six six complete so far in the string. So he is pinning Rick. Well, he had a five in the first. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought it was one. One two is the lead. Drops eight. Yeah, my correction. Then Dan, there's my eyes not to save me. I see the seven split that AJ had in the third. Hey, we're winging it here. It's not a perfect broadcast. We're not. We're we're totally unscripted here. Ouch. Oh, how that didn't go. We're all one now. Fortunately, neither of us is drinking anything alcoholic, so we're not going to be that interesting today. <laughs> There's not enough alcohol here for us. And a 10 box for AJ Stockton, 69 after 7 boxes, 1 under par in Bob Lee language. Yeah. So definitely wants to mark here. Uh, Mike is on 120s in both of his strings so far, and uh, he might well try to do that again. And I'd re if I were AJ, I'd like to have a bigger buffer. Kyle, hey, Kyle, welcome Kyle Heady who joined watching with us. Oh, hey Kyle Heady. We've got eight viewers right now. So AJ has the three and the ten, which we just saw him make a bit ago with a, uh, another pin. So. Well, uh, gets the difficult one, knocks the ten. Scrambling wood. Got the wood to spin around. Easy. Eight pin. Let's pick up the ten. And he's right all over. Right in the face. Got the ten box. 79 after eight. Wants to put a couple marks up there. Now 
coming in at the ninth box. AJ's at 79 after eight. Just off the head pin, leaves a cleary right. Four horsemen plus an eight pen. Uh, Dan, did you roll with uh, Bob Clary? No, uh, in Natick, right? So uh, back in Natick, um, on Monday nights we had a men's league. Uh, it was very competitive, similar to the Wednesday Speed League here. In fact, a lot of the same bowlers are in it in, in those days. And uh, Bob, there are a lot of great bowlers in that league. And uh, Bob Cleary was one of them. So probably, I don't recall anything specific, but I, I'm sure we bowled against them here and there. That was a great bid. And that second ball just, just chopped off too. So in, in that league, we, like I said, we had a lot of great bowlers, and it was it was an interesting league. Um, we came in, all of us, relatively new bowlers the first year we were in there. It was five-person teams, and um, nobody took us seriously until the uh, season when we came down to the finals, and we were we were in the final two. Oh, and then one great. of my guys uh, slipped and dislocated his knee during the during the, the championship round. No subs then. Yeah, we had well, we we had ran a six man rotation, so every every five weeks you'd be out. But the other guy was there, so they let us sub in, and and we, we ended up losing, but not by much. We were way behind after the first game by about 40, 50 pins. We came to within uh, alienation. Glenn Gill. Hey, what a beautiful shot! Back and forth. And, uh AJ just picked up there in the ten. For a well needed spare. Yeah, he's going to be looking to put a, at least eight to ten on this to keep the pressure on Mike. So the team we were bowling against was Alien Nation, and Glenn Gill was on that team, and they were they were a formidable competitor. But in the last seven years, Natick was open. We made the championship round six times, but we never won. Oh, never a good time to punch through. No. For a four, for a one on one. 101 for game three for AJ Stockton. That was, that was, a, that was a tough uh, string for AJ. He was throwing a great ball. Just had a couple of tough breaks. A on there, but AJ was fighting like crazy through that. Was persevering through the tough balls, and um, and uh, when it did really well. And, and Glenn mentions Chris Grimes was one of the other bowlers on that team. Yeah, Mike. Mike was sitting at 51 after the first half. He's going to need a 51. Second half to take this string. All the right. third string. He's already up uh, two strings, so he's up four points to zero right now. Yep. And 16 pins. 16 pins in completed games. That's correct. Oh, good bid on that. Tough leave, the 169. He's the nine pins. As, as a nine, will maintain a, a lead in this string. In a 10 box. Of course, 61 after 6, a 2 pin lead stay, stays. Yeah, so, 6 complete. He needs to make a mark. One mark will win the string. If, as long as he's pinning well, uh, he needs 40 pins to tie, uh, 41 to win. So that's a mark. Right? No, he, if he tends out, tends he, out he, tens, ties. He, he ties. Yeah. You're right. He needs one mark. So, drop an opportunity here with just the 10 pin left. Big nine drop there, at least just a 10 pin. Piece of wood in the gutter. Oh, no doubt about that. Right on the face. Spare in the seventh, so that puts Mike at 71 plus a ball. And thank you, all nine viewers. I know it's a tough time of night. People getting home from dinner and then there's a lot of crazy people that get ready for football. All right, an eight fill gives Mike 79. He now has a 10 pin lead in completed boxes. Well, in some matches, we get a lot more viewers on the recording than we do on the live. And, and some of that's something we're talking, we're talking about a little bit about you know, having more of a schedule post and made public. But at this point, it's really complicated to do that because the bowlers set their own bowling schedule. And, and another 10. 10 box for 89. Mike up 10. 
So everybody's been pre-announcing their matches on the Facebook page, so there's some public publicity in advance. But it's an imperfect system, so... Yeah, some shout, out, shout out to Mike Barato. Oh my goodness. What, he, what he's done. Uh, I don't know when the guy sleeps. He's taking it to the next level. All, all of those guys who are really strong on production. Micah, yeah. Bob Lee, Bob Lee yeah. Greg Gouillard, Greg um, Gouillard Paul Grant, Chris Waterman. And if we leave a few out, um, it's not intentional. But it, it, it's actually it's a point where I'm actually getting requests to stream some matches. Oh, that's a great bid. And it's great when we can get one of those guys to work together and, and focus on the production and the camera angles. You know, you work, work with Bob Lee and you've got pin cams and all that. I, I don't have the technical competency to do that yet. Well, I'm, I'm going to work on getting the scorecard up yeah. so we can at least uh, ha have it showing there. But I don't want to do it until I can do it correctly without right. showing mistakes. It's, I don't want to frustrate uh, bulls that are tuning in with a scorecard that's not correct. Yeah, exactly. uh, not showing correctly. Uh, that's why we give you updates on almost every box on where the where where it is in the match. Well, Mike has won this string. Yeah. Uh, he had a 98 after nine. He just dropped five, yeah. and he was up against the 101. So he's also going to add to his lead. He's pulling pretty well tonight, even in a tough string. Yeah. Both both bulls at a tough. Top of third string, yeah. I can, if I gave you a dollar for every time I punched out that pin in the face with this shot, I'd be broke. <laughs> if I gave you a dollar, I'd be broke. All right, seven oh, bucks. Seven Mike bucks. Ends up with a 105. Oh, like I said, not 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 any of the ball's best boxes, but uh, looks like it's a 20 pin total mass right now. Okay, so after three strings, uh, Mike Capone has a 20 pin lead, 349 to 329 for total. That's a pencil. Let's see if this works. Alright, so we're going we're gonna to do this Paul Grant style and uh, put the up, up, up. Alright, over to that side a little bit. There you go. You're good. And there's our scores so far. We've told you, you might be able to see the screen up there, but now we're putting it on the screen. And hopefully that won't affect our focus, which it did in the last game. It did. Oh, it did. No, it's coming back. Okay. So, I'm not a big fan of putting the paper up there because sometimes it affects your camera focus. Uh, but, um, hey, it's early in the season. We've got a million matches going. And... Uh, like I said earlier, today's casual day in the ACST. Well, John, if you need help with that, help Okay. So with... Um, oh, where's my score sheet? Oh. Yeah, I don't want to lose it. Is that the one we're working from? Where the pluses? Nope. Okay, there you go. All right, we're coming into game four here of five games. And AJ Stockton on lane one. Still, still plenty of room. You know, Mike is up six points to zero right now. But uh, as you know, Dan, total is more important. Uh, and he's only down 20 pins after three completed. I, I've strength. seen a lot of matches where somebody wins the first three and goes on to lose a match eight to six. Correct. So um, don't turn out yet because this is not over um, at all. And what AJ a shot! Gets, we did. Back to a Worcester. Thank you very much. There's the half Worcester. That was wild. That 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 uh that that deserves a wow. We'll I can't put, wait to watch that back. We'll put we'll put that on instant replay. If we knew how to do that, we'd, we'd put it on instant replay for the for the people watching. But great start to the fourth string here for AJ. Well, if Mike uh, 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 edits this, he can do instant replay, and he does it. All right, that's not a bad. Oh, ball. nice splash ball. Seven. Drop seven. One, two, eight are the, are the, is the remainder. There we go. I got it. Wood to the left and behind it. Is that a piece of wood in the middle, too? Uh, no, I don't believe so. There's one behind it. If he gets in the one, two pocket, he's got a spare. And misses a head paint. Got to hit the object. Most of the time. 
but that's okay. Good, good effort on that. That was a big spare on the first. That's still a great start. And, and 10 bucks. Very nice. So 27 after two frames for AJ. That's the way that he wants to stop this fourth string to see if he can put some pressure on Mike Cohn right out of the gate. I saw it splash. Oh, right in the Good. pocket. We'll block it in. And a little help. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, 10 pin. You were hit. Get out. Sometimes pins are like my dog, can be really stubborn at times. Uh, I, have a, I have a Wheaton Terrier. I mean, if anyone has a Wheaton Terrier, they do not follow instructions. Yeah. They train you very well. I'm actually really fortunate. I've had the dog I have for about a year now. Just a little bit off the left hip. She's a Siberian Husky German Shepherd mix, and she's actually really well behaved. Oh, that's good so she's, she's, uh, I can't complain. And just off the left, but a uh, nine box. So AJ's in at 36 after three. Room for two more here, keep the pressure on. All right. She's, uh, AJ is six over par. 36 after three. Opportunity to break open here if he can get a couple of marks. Uh, a little bit off the left there, hit the two pin, but I uh, got it. Drop six there, anyways. So make make a little stay here, Dan. What do you think? It's, yeah, I think it is makeable. Um, with the seven pin, um, obviously you got to kick over the head pin over, but get in the pocket or even on the inside, you got a shot. Okay, except if you hit too full. Yeah, too full is enough. Just a little full. All right, and there's a nine box for 45 after four. What are you What are you volunteering me to do? Are you going to go for money afterwards? I still have my passport. I said, I this saw is mine the bowling too. junkie of the uh, East Coast. And I told my wife, I was like, you know, I only go for a few hours to bowl. And she tells me nicely, she goes, the minimum time you bowl is five hours. <laughs> I've been here for seven hours today, so... What a way to spend your vacation. Yeah, oh, really. Oh, oh nice splash there. Damn. All right. All right. Didn't, didn't hit the... That's not bad. One, two, seven. Yeah, make up a... Make up a stay. Yeah, let's let's see the AJ. I think that might actually help. He's been making a lot of tough stairs tonight. Including the start of this match with the half Worcester spare. Right there. Right. And once again, right on time. So book great, and marks. Great spare. Uh, both both ends of this half for AJ. Yep. A spare in the first, spare in the fifth. 55 plus a ball after five. I can't wait for that. That was great something. start. So Mike Capone comes up trying to maintain his lead in this game. He's up 20 pins in completed games with a 349. And uh, looking to keep that going. So he the mic on his first ball. Off on the two pin, but look at that action. Can't complain about that, Mike. Just the eight pins, some wood around it. Mike's checking out the angles. Caitlin Finn has joined us. Hey, uh, Caitlin. Hey, Kate. And we miss you tonight. Thank, you, thank you for my new shirt. I don't know if you saw it earlier. I had my uh, dull yellow shirt on. Uh, I'll be uh, working the side on the roads and constructions, waving traffic on. But this is exactly the color I picked. And thank you for getting the, the lettering right. And thank you too, Caitlin. I've got my shirt on today with the special initials on the arm. So I very much appreciate that. 
Um, they're um, my my sister's initials. She passed away three years ago at oh, a young that's age. That's a nice tribute. And so I'm we I'm wearing her on my sleeve right now. On your sleeve and in your heart. Yep. Makes a tough shot here. So Mike just dropped three. Yeah, he missed that spare in the first that it looked very makeable, but the wood deflected around. Look at that. Whoa! Oh nice shot, Mike Paul. That was almost oh, as up. good as AJ's. He had one less pin, so AJ's was better. <laughs> Two great spares. So Mark in the second for Mike Capone puts him at 20 plus a ball. As you expected, both these bowls are feeding off each other. Oh yeah. They both off a little bit now. AJ comes out with a great half. And Mike's trying to keep pace. Yeah, come on, Mike. Both are great competitors and both of them have a good time doing this too. And that's what this is all about. So I have a, an office mate our in-house CPA where I work and he's a hockey player and his line is uh, it's it's like a fun league he says win or lose we drink the booze so <laughs> it's kind of like that here in bowling win or lose we can have a good time how's that absolutely oh Mike just sails that one left oh, so Mike. after three complete uh, AJ sitting at 36 and Mike at 33 so we got another close one here now, I'm not from Massachusetts, so I don't have the accident. How do you say barn burner in Massachusetts? Barn burner. There you go. You got it. A barn burner. A barn burner. A barn burner. We got us. That's a Donnybrook. <laughs> Whoa, it is a hammer. That was a wow. Big hammer. Did someone say thump? <laughs> <laughs> Big strike by Mike Capone. And uh, we haven't been keeping count of how many, but I guess we're counting on Micah. He'll, he'll keep Catch us all up on this stuff. Catch us up probably by tonight before we get home. Going for the double and Mike drops seven. Oh, it's gonna be eight. It's seven in the first ball. It's seven. So he's a 43 plus this ball in the next ball. Looking to mark in the fifth. Gets off. Puts nine in a strike. So after in completed boxes, Mike's a 52. Open in the fifth. AJ at 45. AJ did finish up with another spare. And a nine box for Mike Capone, so he closes with a 61 half in game four. AJ's coming up the ball in lane two with 55 plus a ball. So um, a six fill ties up the halves. Seven fill puts AJ in. AJ drops, let me see if I can see, he drops six, so five, five. five. Yep, okay, there's a hidden pin. It was a nice hidden pin hit, but it just curving away a little bit too much, hit it a little bit. So AJ has a 60 half to Capone's 61. Yeah, that's it. We got a salsa Donnie, Brooke. Oh, good good on that. Right oh, on the object. That was, that, that was a great ball also. He's going to look to keep the pressure on Mike here. And another 10. Like this hole is up pinning beautiful. It's going to come up. It's going to come down to who makes that hard spare or drops more hammers. Like, like we said before, if AJ really opens up, there's a possibility of taking aim. Absolutely. Yeah. It's possible. Oh, beautiful ball. So if you have to get that leave. And having that like, piece of wood there helps. The, the castle leave. Um, and leaving that wood out there is about as good as it gets. Still going to be a tough shot. Yeah. Oh. 
There's always one. Always one in every class. Yes, indeed. Ten bucks for 80 after 7. 10 over par. Alright, AJ is going to look to put some pressure here on the, the market too in these last three frames. I remember AJ's straight. down 20 and completed, so AJ doesn't want to win a win big. Only win, but win big. At least 10. And uh, that means marking out, really, I think. Because I think Mike's going to come back strong. Another great ball, but not a great ball. Well, I have to say that's better than a spread eagle because if you can take the check mark left and move something over the right, you got a much better chance of making it. I don't know. AJ made the. She made a half Worcester. Yeah, made the half yeah. Worcester, which is even tougher shot. Right on it. Oh, what a fish! Come on. There you go. Here we hey, go. Take it. Oh, here we go! What a great goes. shot! A late, it should have gone. Late hit in the back. He hit it for the seventh pin, but he had, once again he made a fantastic spare fill. Spare in the eighth gives AJ 90 plus the ball. Wants a couple more marks, at least one more, preferably two more. Those are and really put the heat on Mike. Those three spares that AJ's made in this, this string have all been. Not give me spares, that's for sure. Oh no. That's a real competitor here. Yeah. Right. Right, drops the five. Is that a check, check mark at the ten? Uh, no, it's a three. One, two, four, nine, ten. It's wood in between. Another great bit. I thought not uh, any love on that. I thought that was right in the place where you wanted to hit it. But I think me, you, and AJ all thought that that was going. Picked up two. Wow. S slid that that uh, pin yeah, over. Move that wood over. So AJ ends up with a, well, so he's a one on four, four and nine. nine. Another box to go. He's going to look to put, put one on the end here. There it Needs a mark for a 120. There you go. That's a mark. And that, that's not a mark. That's a hammer. Right on, right on cue. AJ is totally AJ just focused. Drop, drop that hammer. All right, one fourteen to ten on this one. One fourteen plus two. Looking for a double. So I'm not going down without a fight. Yeah, double. Yeah. Right in there. All right, a little full on the head pin takes uh, six on the first. The one. The two four seven. That, that gets him to 120. Is that 2467? You have 246 or 2467, you're right. You're doing them in order. Oh! One more. Just seven. Broken. So a 121 string for the second time for AJ. Nice comeback. That was a great finish by AJ. 121. And. Or AJ is at 450 for four strings. So Mike's at 61. He needs a 60 half to tie or a 61 half to win this string. That means two marks, realistically. Yeah, like I said, after three completed, he's up 20 points. Mike says, okay, you think you're getting hot? Look out for me. No, didn't no. quite push back. Put it in her pocket really nice. 
Got a nice plank right in front of the tent. Yeah, it's rolling a little forward though. It's not gonna give me any more. I still think it takes it, but it's a lot better when it's touching the wood. The pin. Okay, the wood's just settling down now. Oh, and he missed it. a little bit to the left. So it's still there for a 10 box. He was trying to play the left hand side of the wood and spin it over. Went a little too far. Oh, yeah. Alright, went direct at it. Team makes a 10 for 71. So after 6 completed in the fourth string, yeah. Mike's sitting at 71, AJ at 70. AJ finished finish this string strong, so. With a, with a spare and a strike in the 10. Mike has uh, four boxes. That was in the left pocket, solid, but leaves a 5, 9, 10, and the 10 might be thinking about falling, that's, no. That's almost like a reverse test. Yes, right. That's exactly correct. Uh, they call it the shot that never goes. It's got a possibility if he goes well, to the left the, of the five. There was no wood there. Right. Right? About, no, he's just off of it a little bit. He had a bid. Yep. But it's like you almost want to be on the left-hand side of the five. Really tough to do. I don't have that level of accuracy usually. No. Nine box for my Smiley takes the easy one. So with three boxes to go, Mike would need uh, 42 pins. 42 pins, but they're tied. So AJ they're, was they're at the same point. AJ, AJ got 42 pins. But AJ, AJ finished pins. very strong. Yep. He's in there again. Nine, nine. Still falling. Yeah. Wow, shaking but not stirring. So the last three he put right in the same one, two pocket. Yeah, almost identical so balls. It's a lot better leave. Three ball, three pins. Yeah. Oh, you don't wow. want to do that. Ah, pick it up. What am I doing? All right. That was a good opportunity. All right, gets it behind, from behind. So 90 after 8 to AJ's 95. Right. Mike needs to... 32 pins and two boxes to win this string. Two, so he's going to need, there he's gonna need uh, a strike, two spares, two good fields. Alright, so that time he's on the other side of the head pin and look at the result. Oh my god. Thank you, Millis. Slow motion strike. Slow motion strike. I like those. You get to watch them longer, right? So, just yeah. like AJ. Strike at 10th, Mike throws on the 9th. So Mike's at 100 plus 2 balls, up against the 9 box. He's trying to put the slow motion strike into play again. And uh, nine. wiggling 10 pins, not going anywhere. That's big. He needed a mark to have a chance to win this one. He did. So Mike's at 120 and a ball in the 10th. Up needs against the 120, he needs, a, he needs to throw a half Worcester to win this. If he throws it in the gutter or... Or a set of Worcester. I had that yesterday. And Capone will win this next string. He came back with a 126. Oh so he's ex uh, Mike is at 475. So Mike right now is up 25 pins in total. 
and in points uh, right now Mike has all eight so Mike's won the match but AJ wants to come back and try to pick up at least a couple and, you know, uh, if AJ can win by 26 in his, um, then we'll win total, so. It's not all, it's all total. That was clutch. Ooh, that funny. The Microsoft is striking ball a lot in that last few. And, uh, you know, the nine drops right in the one, two, one, three pocket. And when you put it over in the one, two pocket, you get the slow motion strike. I like the one to get off the six hit, pin. So. What was the last one off the six pin? Yeah. Maybe the head pin. Yeah, you're right. I don't think he did hit the head pin on that one. No, it did not. All right, game five. Fifth and final game of this match. Come on! Right out of Stockton the game. starts out with AJ a strong nine. Beautiful nine drop. Leaving just the six pin. Both these, both these people have drank it better. No one's, no one's going to lie down here. There you go. Being very careful not to hurt the pins oh, yeah. that bin. Yeah, I don't think the pins failing were hurt there, but yeah. they went down nonetheless. Well, there's no need to injure the pins if you can make it fall gently, so AJ, we're harping on that a little. <laughs> yeah, we'll just drop the one. <laughs> Great spare. Spare to first for AJ Stockton. Just like last string. A little easier spare this time. Oh, 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 oh! Why is that not a strike? Oh. Eight to fill. One ten. That's correct. The one ten. One ten. There's some wood to help. Is it a five? The five? Not ten. Yep, it is a five. It's hard to see back here with the old guys. We're, we're getting tired and a little stir crazy here, so. And hungry. That too. And it goes wide to the left. So we'll be open in box two. There he goes to 10 box. 28 after 2 for AJ Stockton. Right. 26 mile an hour ball. Still holding up very well. Uh, afterwards. Box three, first ball. Off on the two pin, but gets a decent leave. Nice, one nice leave, Deb. On the three pin, I said two pin. My goodness, I gotta get my accuracy up. So one, two, four is a lead, three in a row. I just saw a beautiful shot over on lane three, if you happen to be watching that. Pick up the triangle left with a 10 pin. One of the lead pullers. AJ is just off to the right and misses a spare opportunity. Doing great. Doing great. Once we get to 10, keep it going. And there's, ah, that, I don't know why that pin got stuck down. I just hit about the way you're supposed to hit that. So, uh, 9 box in box 3 for AJ for 37 after 3. 7 on the power. That's a convenient way that Bob's talking about seeing who's ahead. Uh, when one's completed five, they both completed five, but one bowler is several boxes in the second half. If you go by par, you can kind of see that, you know, okay, it's easy to do. Oh, oh no. We may, we may be moving to one lane. Oh, we're almost done here. We're on our last yeah, right now, we don't have any place to move to, so... Right, AJ, box four. Breaks up the split. Can we get another one? We got another one. But uh, not a strike, a nine drop. A nicely done nine drop. About 27 miles an hour, AJ's picked up the speed a little bit. He's been throwing 27 all night, actually. All right. And uh, 
uh, AJ misses an object pin, so we'll be open in the fourth. Gets at that time, 10 bucks, uh, 47. 47 after four. Steve Reno going down behind the pins to work on it. Yeah, lane three just uh, had a nervous breakdown, so. But to this match, AJ's at 47 after four and trying for 60 plus half. Has to get him on him. Sit him on him. And there we go. We get to see the clipped wing spread eagle. I don't know, Dan. Would you would you go to the right side? Well, first, oh, wow. first I cuss and swear for a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, and then I'm probably going to go. I've learned to go to the right, then to the two. You have a better chance of making it. Or something. As, well, as Dale and I think it was as Dale and Matt Rich and I had a good talk about that during one yeah. match. I I would have went right where uh, AJ went, being bowling bowling left lefty. Well, yeah. It's a lot easier to chase it that way. Yeah. So on, on a spread eagle, I usually go to the left side first. And I go to the right. Yeah. So I go to the opposite side. And you want to get that angle. Um, All right. Good half, AJ. So AJ closes with a 56. Uh, decent half. Right, yeah, trying not to get, trying not to get blank here. Uh, microphone first ball in the fifth box. Fifth game. And, and the hand. No, that wasn't a. That was, that was a no doubt strike. That. that yeah, that, that was that, no help. Uh, that was not a cheap strike. That would have been a strike almost anywhere. I don't know about Norwood. Well, I had a couple of good games in Norwood. Oh, a double! There's a double. He's on his way to a 300. Only eight more. Ten more. Ten more. Ten more. No problem. Eight, ten, whatever. Be the guy, Mike. Be the guy. First shot tonight for a triple. Look at that. Oh, oh good hit. Misses. Well, there you go. You're not getting a 300 now. So, Mike's left with the 4 10 split and some ugly looking look. It's pointed right at him. And he capped the wood and just took the wood out. Still an 8 fill on the. Well, Mike's a 40, 46. Eight, eight, eight. 46 in the second box. Eight box, so that puts Mike in box three at 54. That's a good start. That's the best stop we saw tonight, so oh, without doubt. Of all the matches. But keep it going. Yeah, Mike's dialed in right now. Uh, he's, he's hitting that pocket it's beautiful. Since, since the last half, he's been just right in there. So it drops nine to start. Some funky wood. This is a five pin, but it's gone. No problems. It was a 27 mile an hour ball, and it takes it right out. So spare in the fourth, 64 plus a ball. Out of reach. All right, that time he goes off a little bit. He's on a three pin. On a two pin, he's three on the other side. And uh, four and a fill for 68 after four. Over 70 already. He came around the head pin to pick up the five and carry a few more. So he'll be opening a fifth. Nice nine Pick box, two Mike. Nine? 77 half for Mike. 77 Paul. half. Great job, Mike. I'm really glad I'm not bowling Mike tonight. I don't know if I want to bowl him afterwards. He wants to see if I can play. 
you, you, you want a bullet for you after this? Who wants to take more of my money? He does, he does give me two to one odds. Yeah. I got it. I, no, it, 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 Ryan's Family Amusements, they have a great program called the Passport. That's it. Yes. So that's all, all the Strike for AJ on. Stockton. That's the way to come right back. Yeah. Yeah. 16, AJ 16, drops 16, the ball. hammer himself. So if, if you haven't bowled a Millis, it's, it's really worth looking into. the. And you want to bowl a lot. Um, for $39. 30, you, 90, no, 35. 35. 35. Well, they charged me 39 that's the